This video describes the capture process with the Medmon E300 corneal topographer. Start by clicking on the patient name and then go up to the corneal topography capture icon. This brings up a window that allows you to image the eye multiple different ways. In this case, let's choose the single map capture and click on the topography icon. When you're ready to take your capture, have the patient move their nose slightly away from the cone so as to avoid pushing the cone into the bridge or the brow. Take the joystick, center the instrument to the apex ring. If the rings aren't clear or visible, move the instrument forward until you can see the reflection of the placido image. With the green crosshair centered on the apex ring, you're aligning the instrument to the visual axis, assuming the patient is looking down the axis of the instrument. The red line indicates how close or far away we are from the eye. While the red line is at the top of the runway, we're too far away from the eye. While the red line is at the bottom of the runway, we're too close. We'll line up both the green and the red over the apex ring. Prior to doing so though, have your patient blink Smooth out the tear film and open up as wide as possible. The instrument automatically captures when you've centered it within range. You notice we have captures from 83% confidence all the way up to 99% confidence. Your rightmost image will always be your best, at least in terms of centration, light reflection, and the steadiness of the user at the time of capture. So this indicates that we have a good photo, but it doesn't indicate that we have smooth and even tear film. So to confirm that the placido reflection is optimal, click on the zoom icon, hold it down, and assess the central five to 10 rings. They should all appear parallel and even, indicating an absence of tear film breakup. The topographer is going to construct eye shape from the center to the periphery. So it's important those central rings appear smooth, parallel, and even. If you're happy with your capture, you can click select. If you want to take additional right eyes, you can click the clear button or just continue. If you want to change to the left eye, just move the topographer over to the opposite eye and the instrument will automatically recognize it's taking a, a left eye. If you're happy with the captured images, click Next and Finish. This will save the images to the patient file. We can close down the image window and see our captured topography.